34 degrees in the shade plus some time off in the afternoon equals gelato time. Hello everyone, this is Barb's and today, surprise, surprise, I'm in Rome. I've been here since the beginning of the week because of work. Today it's Thursday, by the way, and I'm actually leaving tomorrow morning. But right now it's currently 5.30. I happen to have some time off, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna go and have a gelato at my favorite gelateria in Rome. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. So right now we're headed to a very famous pastry shop slash gelato shop, I would say, called Jolitti. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jolitti, but in my opinion, it is a real landmark in Rome. First of all, because it is located in one of the many hearts of Rome, both historically and politically speaking. In fact, it is super close to the Pantheon and Piazza Navona. Don't worry, we're gonna stop by later. But at the same time, the street where Jolitti is, so Via degli Uffici del Vicario, is next to Piazza Montecitorio, which is where our House of Representatives, Camera dei Deputati, is. So technically, Jolitti is in front of our Camera dei Deputati. And another reason why this gelateria is so popular is that it's been there ever since the very beginning of the 20th century, guys. Jolitti is over a hundred years old. What? That is crazy. I read this art article that said that Giuseppe and Bernardina Giolitti founded the place in 1890. Of course, it was way smaller, smaller back then because uh, they started out by opening just a latteria, so a place where just milk was being sold. And then little by little, they managed to expand the business and eventually Giolitti became the Giolitti we know nowadays. And another super cool thing is that the actual interiors haven't been changed ever since so even today you can notice the beautiful art liberty style and all the decor and all the super elegant details so also from an artistical and architectural point of view Jolite is a real cool place to visit haven't decided which flavors I want to go for today and I guess we'll see because they do have many options. What I'm sure of is that I am definitely gonna have a cono medio.
very bad guys the gelato was extremely extraordinary i ended up having um stracciatella bisciole and uh, cioccolato di modica so good i definitely recommend giving giuliti a nice try if you happen to be in rome thank you so much guys for sharing this gelato time with me I hope you had a good time, I hope you had fun, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and as usual, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. By the way, I love reading all of your comments, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks again for watching this video. Um, subscribe to the channel, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Bye!